All right, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to simulate a maximum power transfer circuit uh, in LT Spice for Mac. I'm showing you this in Mac because it's slightly different than uh, how it is in uh, Windows. And so uh, what we'll see is that if I want to add any components, I right click. So I'm going to right click, go to draft, choose components. I need a voltage source. So I can search for that, select it, and to get out of that, I'll hit escape. Then I'm going to right click on where it says V to set a voltage. I'm gonna set it to be 12 volts, click okay. All right, next thing I wanna do is add a whole bunch of resistors. So I'm going to uh, search for resistor and hit okay. And then uh, rotate it, I need one here, one here, one here, and one here. All right. Um, and then I can set the resistor values. The first one's going to be 680 ohm, uh, which is a real resistor value. Uh, here is going to be 270 ohms. Uh, here is going to be uh, 470. And then what I'm going to want to do here is vary the value of R. And to do so, I want to make this R a variable, so I'm going to add squiggly brackets on the outside. Now, I'm missing two things. I'm missing wires and a ground. So uh, to add a ground, I'm going to type the letter G, and my ground will appear. OK. Next thing I want to do is add wires. So I'm going to choose draft and go with wires, and then connect this as I'm demonstrating here. And you can see that I missed a couple, so I can continue on. I can go here and here, and now my circuit is complete. Now, um, what I want to do is step this value of R uh, from 50 to 1,000 in steps of 50. And so uh, I need to add a .op command or a spice directive. Um, what I want to do is .step param, so I'm stepping a parameter, and I'm going to step the parameter r from 50 to 1000 in steps of 50. And so you can see that that's what I have written there. If I click OK, I can put it here. And then if I click Run, what it's going to say is there's no analysis command. And what I really want to use is uh, the operating point voltage or dot op. So what I want to do is go ahead and add a spice directive dot op, click Enter. Okay, place it down here. And then I'm going to uh, zoom to fit. And I can go ahead and click run. And now I have this figure, which currently doesn't show me anything. So uh, what I want to display here is the voltage across this resistor. So I can measure that, first of all. Um, green is a really crummy color because we can't see it very well. So let's change that to... Uh, red. And then um, the other thing I want to display is power. And uh, the easiest way to do that is to first measure the current through this resistor. And I do that by hovering over the resistor and clicking. And then I want to change this so it's V times I. So this needs to be times V in 003, which is the voltage that we've already measured. And I'm going to make it a color of blue and press OK. So of course I can put any expression here uh, and it's totally fine. And now we have the solution. What you will notice is that uh, as you increase the value of resistance for a while the power goes up and then at a certain point it maximizes. This is what call is called maximum power transfer which you will learn about when you learn about Thevenin equivalent circuits. And uh, this is all there is to simulating something with a variable resistor uh, and measuring the power of this type of circuit.